This is the Acer Mixed Reality headset, one of the first Windows Mixed Reality headsets to hit the market. Being the first out of the gate isn't easy, especially when you're up against platforms like the PSVR, the HTC Vive, and the Oculus Rift, all of which have had time to work out the kinks that plagued early adopters. The Acer Mixed Reality headset, on the other hand, suffers from quite a few growing pains. While it's nice to see some color on a VR headset, and let's be clear, that is what this is, Windows Mixed Reality is just Microsoft's VR platform. There might be some software later that really makes its version of VR mixed, but that software isn't here yet, so this is unequivocally a VR headset. Okay, so back to the design. It's nice to see some color, especially since other flagship VR headsets like the Vive and the Oculus are just plain matte black, but this bright blue might not be everyone's cup of tea. The headband is rigid and adjustable with a single dial on the back here, which means you have to keep it really tight on your head to keep it from moving around. Having an additional strap across the top, like the Vive, might have made things a little bit more comfortable. Putting this thing on feels like strapping a couple pounds of rigid plastic to your head because that's exactly what you're doing. It's hard, the padding on the interior doesn't really do much, it's like the foam padding you'd find on a pair of cheap headphones. The headset itself flips up like a visor once it's on, which means hopping in and out of VR is a bit less involved than it is with the Vive or the Rift. You don't have to remove the whole headset, just flip up the visor and get ready for a very uncomfortable sound. Yeah, it makes that sound every time you snap the visor up or down. It's not the kind of sound you want a $400 device to make, ever. All of the Windows Mixed Reality headsets will be shipping with ultimately the same controllers since they're all based on the same technology. Unfortunately, these controllers are not very good. The plastic they're made out of is oddly flexible and doesn't really inspire confidence. They're a little flimsy and it's substantial. They're comfortable enough to hold and the button layout is good with one exception though, the Bluetooth pairing button. It's inaccessible without opening up the battery compartment. That might not seem like a big deal, after all, how often do you need to pair a controller? But in our experience, we needed to pair them pretty frequently. Once the batteries start running low, you'll find out because the controllers will just stop pairing or lose signal, not because the software actually tells you. For that, you'll need to exit VR, open a side menu in the Windows Mixed Reality Portal, and check the connection. Then it'll tell you that your controllers are running low. It's unintuitive and more of a pain than it should be. These are controllers, this is not new technology. Communicating battery life is something very basic that this platform manages to get wrong. All right, so here's the good news. The Acer Mixed Reality headset is very easy to set up. You just plug it right into a USB port, an HDMI port, and your PC will start setting things up. You might need to do a couple Windows updates, but it'll prompt for those and get you ready without any need to mess with settings or dig into menus. It's very seamless. If you want to set up room scale VR, you just walk around the room holding your headset, then you're done, and that's it. No need to set up external sensors since the Acer Mixed Reality headset uses inside-out tracking to figure out where you are at all times. These sensors it uses for that are right here on the front. Compared to the notoriously difficult setup for the HTC Vive, the Acer Mixed Reality setup is a breeze. For the Vive, if you're unfamiliar, you need to set up two external sensors, plug them into power outlets, plug your headset into a separate little dongle, which is also plugged into a separate power outlet, and then plug the dongle into your PC. And then you still have more setup to do. Once you get the Acer Mixed Reality headset all set up though, there's just not much to do with it. That's not really the headset's fault, the Windows Mixed Reality platform is just brand new. It's not anywhere near as established as the Vive or Rift ecosystems. Steam VR support is reportedly coming soon, and there are a few VR games on the Windows Store, but as of now, the Acer Mixed Reality headset doesn't offer much in the way of games or experiences or software. You can load up Twitter in VR though, which is just as awful as it sounds. Overall, it's really hard to recommend the Acer Mixed Reality headset. It's $400, which is the exact same price as the recently discounted Oculus Rift. So if you're in the market for a VR headset, that's the one you should get. If you really want to go in on the Windows Mixed Reality platform, though, you should probably just wait. There are quite a few other Windows Mixed Reality headsets just around the corner. The Dell Visor, the Samsung Odyssey, just to name a few. Either one of those might offer a compelling alternative to the Acer headset here. Or you could just get an Oculus Rift and deal with a slightly longer setup process.